In this video, we will solve a math problem using Python. So I am using PyCharm application. You can download from JetBrains website using a community version. It's free version. And also you can download the Python SDK. After finished installation, you can write the same program in PyCharm. Let's start with the today's challenge. Create a program that requests the user to input the width and length of a room. Once the values have been received, the program should calculate and show the area of the room. So what are the requirements? We have requirements. The program should prompt the user to enter width and length of the room. The width and length should be entered as decimal numbers. The program should calculate the area of the room by multiplying the width and length. The program should show the area of the room in square feet or square meters. The program should include units in the prompt and the output message. So these are the requirements. We need to format our input and output basically. So let's get started. So we need to input some values. User should enter the width and the length value. So I need to create a variable for width and a variable for length. So what is a variable? You can think of a container and that container holds the value of the data. So we can describe variable as we have like containers something like this so we can have a bottle shape container so we can have small size box big size box and we can have circular shape like plate uh, type of box so we can hold different things in different containers let's say you can put a fluid on this this container you can put this box you can put some solid pieces in this box so you can hold some sand kind of stuff in this uh, container so variables are like this so we have different type of variables for different type of data so we have string variable string type we have so this stores basically text value in the uh, string so we have integer value it holds the numbers integer whole numbers basically numbers but the whole numbers whole numbers with negatives and zero whole numbers and we have another type float float means decimal numbers again so we can write decimal numbers and what else we have we have also boolean data type boolean this is true false type of variables so in this question the width and the length could be a number so in this case we are using we are asked to use float so float is decimal number so we need to convert by default when we enter data using input function we need to convert it to float so how can we do that we need to use float function and then put our input inside the float function so this way our input from the user immediately will be converted to float and then it will be assigned to variable width let's say and same as length so let's get started let's write this code so width should be in float float in parenthesis float function so i need to input the value from user so if you want to show a message to user so the message can be written in either double code or single code it doesn't matter we can use double code so if you use single code inside the text so it won't give error that's why using double code is more useful so we can say please enter with and users will see this and it will enter it and then that val that value whatever the user enters will be assigned to with variable with is a container as we said so it will be holding decimal value so i will do the same thing 
Porsche length and user will input it will prompt users input and ask this show this message please enter length and then these values will be assigned to our variables width and length so first requirement is has been performed so i will turn into plus the width and length should be entered as decimal so that requirement is also performed the program should calculate the area of the room multiplying width and length okay now we need to create another variable so i will call it area so we need to use operations so in python you can use operations just like in math multiplication is represented by the asterisk sign these two values must be multiplied which values width and length values and it is calculated and assigned to a new variable which is called area so we need to ask user width in either meters or feet so it is in our requirement so if user enters feet let's ask in feet width in feet so we need to make sure the unit what the unit we will be using in calculation it will not it will not matter but in the end of in the output message we should use the same unit as user enters okay so multiplication is done and assigned to variable so this is done plus the program should show the area of the room in square feet or square meters so our unit is feet so we will show it in square feet we print anything to the console when we run this program it will run the result with the print function inside the print i need to say something so i can directly print the area the variable but the requirement says show the area and it will show the area this way but the last requirement so i can turn this into plus but program should include units in the prompt and out message i need to format this into something readable instead of just numbers the multiplication the product of width and length so what can i say and how can i uh, format this so i can say i need to enter before the area value i can wrap it with double quote or single quote it's the same thing so i'm going to use double quote and i will say area of the rectangle is so it will print this and then print the area value then i will wrap it again with the unit so what is our unit square feet so it will print square feet so what is left we perform all the requirements here so we can run the program from the play button and it is prompting us to enter feet within feet so i will enter three feet and the length in feet four feet then area of rectangle is 12.0 square feet this is our solution so we performed all the requirements and the message is written in a text so we have another way of doing this we can also use create our message we write this message we can create another variable message this message will be text so everything in this in this uh, print what we printed on the screen we can write here and print this message at the end so i will work on this and pretty much i will carry everything out of this print Control x and Control v to add strings to each other we use concatenation operation which is plus but the plus in strings is adding attaching stitching string to each other but this also should be string value so this is currently a float value here so what can i do i need to convert this to string value then everything will be a string and at the end i can print the message as one single message what we created here as a string using concatenation let's run this again the width is three i will use five this time for the length the area of rectangle is 15.0 square feet let's try with decimals let's enter decimal value 3.4 and 5.6 yes it calculates 19.04 19 and 400 square feet as a result of our program and the message i hope you like this video i hope it is helpful i will see you in the next challenge 
we will solve different challenge. So we will solve challenges from simple to complex uh, using Python programming language. If you have another way of solving this, you can share in the comments. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I will see you in the next challenge. Bye.